had some really, really bad news. I've been out mowing the lawn and I thought I'd um, let the birds out for a bit of a fly. Um, we had 83 over in here with the best kittle hen. So I thought, you know, it'd been for a few days. I thought maybe we'll let him out for a fly. Um, they've been out for about an hour. They just come back and 83 is not in here anywhere. I went, I've been looking every single little spot. I can't find him. The one bird that has not come back is 83. Like... I don't know, you know, I thought I was doing a bit of a favour, letting him out for a fly, but he's not here. I'm, I don't know where he's gone. I just, like, I'm speechless, to be honest, because he should be here. I was a little bit full. We've got a couple that kind of look like him, that hen there, but um, no, he has gone. And um, fingers crossed he comes back, because that really, really ruins a lot of my plans. Oh, I don't even know what to say, to be honest. I was, he's flying all the time out here. And the one time we let him out just to get a bit of exercise, stretch his wings, beautiful day, he's gone. So this video is just going to be hopefully some good news at the end of it, that he does turn up. He's maybe just hiding in a tree somewhere. I'm just hoping a falcon hasn't got him. Oh, there's a bird just land on the roof. That better be 83. Oh, because I was just feeding them. It's just getting dark. It's like me half an hour before it gets dark and I thought oh, I'll go feed him he wasn't in that better be him please come on <sighs> come on oh I think it's him come on I thought my breeding plans were over I'd, I just yeah it's very jumpy I think something that has to be him surely come on very very jumpy too look at him I have to check him and see if he's been injured here yeah, that's definitely him oh he's got blood on him no Come on. Oh, yeah, something's hit him. Look at the blood. Right there. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come in. I'll look after you. Whoa, he definitely got clipped by a falcon out of all the birds. Come on. Oh, far out. I'm lucky I got him back. I don't think I'm going to let you out for a while. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Come on. Out of all the birds, had to be you, didn't it? In you come, buddy. Oh, come on. Whew. Right, have a feed, and then I'll have a look at you, all right? I don't want to stress you out too much, but we need to we need to check you. Oh, he doesn't even want to feed. He wants to go straight up to his perch. He is really scared, the poor guy. Oh, 83, you're back. I'm so happy. So something's definitely got him, you see, something's grabbed him on the leg, you can see the blood all over his feet and his ring. Just don't want to hold him like I normally would a pigeon because it's, um. oh no, look at that, poor little guy, he seems to be moving his leg okay. He's just really stressed, got blood, dried blood on me and everything, but we got him back. Okay, so there he is here, he doesn't want to eat, um, which is understandable. I might try and feed him a little bit later on. Oh, he's crowing a little bit, kind of, so he's he's happy to be home, I think, happy to be in the loft. I honestly thought I lost him. I thought, what am I going to do? Because um, he, he, I had him as my um, planned in to be my number one breeding cock this year, just because obviously his performance this year and obviously his brothers and sisters done pretty well and comes down off Leon Storm as well. So I thought, um, yeah, the way that he went this year, we'll just utilize him with the best kittle hand. And I sitting inside for a few hours and I was just stressing because I was like, gosh, you know, I like to have my birds. He's definitely looking better out flying around. I think he might be paired up to one of those hens because he's happy to see her. So I'll keep an eye on this. But um, yeah, I, the plans are almost out the window because I was going to send some of his young to one lofts. But uh, yeah, we'll see. He's definitely happy to be back and I'm happier. What are you doing? You've been so cheeky. He, I, I don't think he, she's trying to bow down, bob down for him to mount her through there. What's going on here? Well, at least you're gonna leave me alone for a change. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come here. You're a worry. Oh, good. So 
it's not an impact wound. You can actually see where the talon or something really sharp has actually pierced into him. Uh, but I'm very lucky that it was around that area. Anywhere else he might not have been able to fly home. But uh, he'll be fine. I won't loft fly him for a little while. I like to loft fly my birds. That's that's just what I like to do. That's, it is a risk. Um, but I think for the rest of the season, I don't know, I'm just a bit concerned for him at the moment. I might move him back over him with the best kittle hen for a bit. But um, yeah, still a few weeks away before we start breeding for him. But whoo, you can see that little puncher wound just there. So glad he's back. Anyway, I'm going to catch you guys soon. I can sleep easy tonight, I can tell you that.